This tutorial is on the timer switch. Um, it's pretty cool. I really like the switch. Uh, I've used it for trap bases. Uh, I found it to be more efficient sometimes than using a memory cell. Um, it's it's easily uh, versatile and you can just turn it on. Um, by default, it has a 10 second duration timer, uh, which you can change. You can see it turns off after 10 seconds. Um, you can set that variable to a lot. It will stay on forever. Um, if you accidentally do something like that, you can disconnect the power to it. It's pretty much the only way I know how to reset it when you do set that too high. Um, I usually set it for like five seconds for my duration of how long I want my trap to go off when I'm using like um, triggers uh, to trigger this uh, with like a laser sensor uh, to open up my doors, uh, have door controllers or something like that. Uh, five second duration, whoever is going to be in the line of sight of shotgun traps will be dead within that amount of time and the doors will automatically close and reset. So um, it's, uh, it's pretty cool in that uh, aspect. Uh, this little wire coming in the side here is a toggle on trigger. Uh, I've set it up with a pressure pad to uh, give a demonstration on that. As you can see, it just triggers the switch to begin. And then after that five second duration, it automatically turns the power off. And uh, that is the timer switch.